time to wear these masks for the next 24 hours. You excited? Leaving Kodiak now. Anchorage and we're actually about to board our flight to Seattle but we had to eat as soon as we got off the plane took some photos of the sunset it was pretty good pretty good two hours here and uh, now we fly to Seattle might see the northern lights on the flight it might it's gonna be kind of risky or not risky but tricky because we'll be kind of going further south as it gets darker so anyway we'll see what happens and I'll see you in Seattle. All right, we made it here to Seattle. They landed us outside, which I've never, never been before, but we're just gonna go Wait, to and, our, and we're gonna go find our Philadelphia gate. Although we have eight hours. Hey, we're gonna walk around a little bit. We have eight hours uh, before we can do anything, so I might try to sleep. It's midnight. Try to see some aurora, but um, they kept the lights on on the plane the whole night. Like, who does that for a night flight? But a tiny flight, but it was all right. Went pretty good. We're gonna walk around a little bit. Pretty tired, but um, overall, it was a good flight. Well, it is five in the morning. We've had about 26 seconds of sleep and my head feels like the drummer from Def Leppard has beaten it into the ground. How do you feel? I feel okay. My eyes just sting. She feels okay. I'm, I got a, such a bad headache right now. I slept on the floor here in the Seattle airport and it was okay but I just wasn't very comfortable. But it was so hot and then when I'm sleeping it gets so cold to where you can't even sleep anymore so it was pretty um, pretty typical I guess right nothing's gonna that part's not gonna go too smooth but um, what else I got my coffee so I can somewhat function but I'm hoping to um, sleep on the flight to Philly Still got like three more hours before we go. I don't know what to do, man. I'm just gonna get. It was actually nice when we landed. There were like no one, nobody in the airport, and now there's. It's so crowded in here. But at least I got my coffee. And probably next footage you'll see is taking off out of Seattle. finally done how do you feel we did it we did it who knows if we're uh, 
get any weird diseases. But uh, slept on the floor in Seattle. God only knows what happens in those bathrooms. And then you get to Philly, it's even worse. And then, so we left Kodiak at 5 p.m. It's 5 p.m. here. Four hour time difference, 20 hours of wearing these stupid masks. Well, they're not stupid, but I'm tired of it. We're gonna go find my brother. Well, we gotta get the bags first. Hopefully they're still there. I'm recording an action movie. I told you this is gonna happen. I told you. Oh, tell me your freedom. All right, we're in Philly now, and uh, yeah, we just hit a or or get steak real quick, and uh, yeah. I don't know how to, bags. I don't know how to blend in. Just can't do it. At least she's tan, somewhat. Actually, she's pretty pale for being Spanish. No, no, no. My brother's like nine feet tall. And and pale. Yeah, well, you're huh? you're tall. That's all that tall, matters. Tall. Yeah. Yes. So is Oregon steak the best? Cheese steak in Philly? I'm gonna find out. I never had it. Oh, you never? You never had it? Never had it. Wow. All right, one bite. You know the rules. Philly cheese steak. Eight point. Uh, hold on. Eight nine. Eight nine. Just kidding. Seven three. <laughs> He's got a good roll though. Yeah, but, yeah I guess you're. One thing we got over here. Yeah. Right, well, it's been a extremely, wow, $3, $3 for a water. It's been an extremely long 48 hours here, and we're tired. We were... We can get ice. We were gonna stay with my sister, but that fell through. And okay, you need to go. I'm gonna talk to the camera. And um, anyway, we were supposed to stay with my sister. That fell through. I'm extremely tired. And um, but here we are. We got a hotel. Oh, sorry about that. Try to get water, and they only accept one dollar bills. I had two one dollar bills. And a five dollar bill and water was three dollars i'm going to bed super dehydrated but i don't wake up then you know i do for, died from dehydration i'm sorry this video was kind of anticlimactic but it was nice earlier um i did see my mom she came home from dialysis so she was pretty wiped out so i only talked to her for a few minutes before she went to bed and then we went to go find a hotel where well, i'm gonna find a nice hotel when we travel from now on. I can't do this. I can't. It's so hot too. Ugh, I am. Good night. I'll see you in the next one. It'll be better, I promise.